Solar flares may seem like faraway events, but they can damage satellites and even ground-based technologies and power grids. Every 11 years, as the sun reaches its maximum activity, they become bigger and more common, and that increases the chances that one will significantly affect Earth. So what are these solar eruptions? A solar flare is basically an explosion on the surface of the sun, ranging from minutes to hours in length. Large flares can release enough energy to power the entire United States for a million years. Flares happen when the powerful magnetic fields in and around the sun reconnect. They're usually associated with active regions, often seen as sunspots, where the magnetic fields are strongest. Flares are classified according to their strength. The smallest ones are B-class, followed by C, M, and X, the largest. Similar to the Richter scale for earthquakes, each letter represents a tenfold increase in energy output. So an X is 10 times an M and 100 times a C. Within each letter class, there's a finer scale from one to nine, poles, and minor radiation storms that might endanger astronauts. It's the X-class flares that are the real juggernauts. Although X is the last letter, there are flares more than 10 times the power of an X1. So X-class flares can go higher than nine. It was so powerful that it overloaded the sensors measuring it. They cut out an X-17, and the flare was later estimated to be about X-45. A powerful X-class flare like that can create long-lasting radiation storms, which can harm satellites, and even give airline passengers flying near the poles small radiation doses. X-flares also have the potential to create global transmission problems and worldwide blackouts. The seriousness of an X-class flare pointed at Earth is why NASA and NOAA constantly monitor the sun. NASA's heliophysics fleet of spacecraft can now see the sun from every side and in many different wavelengths. This unprecedented coverage is enabling scientists to predict and detect space weather events like flares and CMEs with ever greater accuracy. With advanced warning, governments and companies can take steps to protect their technological infrastructure so that the worst scenarios will never happen. Poles have appeared on the surface of the sun over the last two weeks. They're 18 to 30 times the size of Earth. They're called coronal holes, but they're actually just cooler areas that don't glow as bright as others. That's why they look black. They can send 1.8 million miles per hour solar winds toward our planet. These are different from winds on Earth, and we can't actually feel them. That's because they're a collection of charged particles that can interact with the Earth's magnetic field. The strong winds can also create geomagnetic storms that could potentially damage satellites. But at the moment, scientists say these winds will likely just reveal stunning northern lights. Every 11 years, the sun goes through periods of low and high activity in its solar cycle. Right now, the star is growing more active, so coronal holes are showing up. But they usually appear on the sun's poles, these particular ones are near the sun's equator, which is on the same plane as Earth. So there's a higher chance solar winds will come our way.
Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications.